We're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. We bow down, Father. We're humble in your presence. Father, we're asking in Jesus' mighty name that you lead God and direct this prayer. And Father, we need your strength. Help us hide the word of God in our heart that we sin not against you. And Father, we continue to pray in Psalm 91. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Ten thousand shall fall at your right hand, but trouble won't come nigh you. Dwell in Romans 8 to 8. All things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And Father, we ask for an increase of purpose this morning, Father, as we study your word. Father, as we pray your word. Father, as we listen to your word. Father, we need your help today. And Father, we know that you're merciful, God. Slow to anger. Father, Lord, be magnified. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endure for all generations. And we thank you for the blessing of the Lord to make a rich and out of the sorrow with and never seen the righteous forsaken or seed begging bread. And we know your word to be true. Father, help us hear, and hear the instruction in your word. Help us to be do hearers and doers of your word. Let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be acceptable in our sight, O Lord, thy strength and our redeemer. And we thank you for your blessed name. And it's in Jesus' by name that we pray. Amen. And amen, Jesus. The portion of scripture that we're going to this morning is Psalm 63. Psalm 63, Psalm of David. Psalm 63, focus verse in the fourth verse, and then verses 3 through 6 that I'll be reading to you here. And I pray that we hear the instruction in the word. It said, The greatness of God's love stirs praise. The scripture tells us that a continued praise should come out of our mouth daily. Father, we got to praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Every knee going to bow. Every tongue has to confess that he is the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Act 221 says, Whosoever calleth on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And he's a God that delivers and sets free. And Father, we thank you for the name Jesus this morning. Starting with the third verse, it said, Because thy loving kindness is better than life. Somebody needs to receive that into their heart, that receiving Jesus Christ into your heart is your life. My lips shall praise thee. See, because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks where your treasure is, your heart is also. Help us hide the word of God in our heart that we sin out against you. We know that the scripture said the wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life in the true Christ Jesus. And Father, I thank you for the blessing of your word that I got a true understanding of your word. My lips shall praise thee. How am I going to praise you? Praise you by speaking the word of God. Proverbs 18, 21 said death and life. Is in the power of the tongue, and they that eat it shall eat the fruit thereof. I'm speaking life over this community. I'm speaking life over my house. I'm speaking life in my mind. Father, we need you to mortify the deeds of the flesh. Decrease the flesh and increase the spirit as we continue in your word. It said, thus will I bless thee while I live. See, you got it. He want a living sacrifice. I will lift up my hands and thy name. See, we call it on the name Jesus, and I'm, do, I'm surrendering to the will of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody need to receive that to the heart. You got to surrender to the will of the Lord Jesus Christ. John 3 and 5 said, Valley, Valley, I send to thee, except the man be born a warden of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Acts 2 38, Peter said, Repent. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We exalt in the name Jesus beside the ill and to meat market. I exalt the name Jesus in my house. It's a household of faith. It's a household of faith, and it's a household of prayer. Somebody need to receive it all. It's a household of faith and a household of prayer. It said, my soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. My mouth shall praise thee with joy for lips, because the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength because I'm standing on the word of God. 2 Timothy 2.15 says, Study to show thyself approved of work and you do not be ashamed. Rightly divide the word of truth. You don't have to be ashamed if you keep studying the word. You don't have to be ashamed if you keep studying the word of God. That's how you get your help. It said, when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watch. Because, see, when you sleep and slumber, God put the instruction in you. He put the instruction in you for your house. The men of God are your house so that you can stand, so that you can order your prayer and get the help that you need. Father, we need your help this morning. I prayed for my house last night. I prayed for my house when I woke up this morning because we all need your help. Father, I'm focused on that in my mind. And then do in the strong definition for thee while I live. 
life or living thing. See, Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice. He sealed that scripture on my heart because we got to be a living sacrifice. we got to be walking by faith and not by sight. And the scripture said, faith without works is dead. What are you going to do today to serve the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you lifting yourself up? Are you going to be lifted up in pride? Oh, God, I thank you this morning, Father, that I, I'm able to stay humble, Father. Even when I'm talking about everything is coming against me and I feel like I'm overwhelmed, Father, you put a hedge of protection around about my mind and heart, build up a wall of defense of my heart so that I can get the help that I need and be a help to my family. Help us one to another, Father. Study your word so that I can get the instruction that we need. So the scripture said, he that win a soul is wise. And the one that can win your soul is the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling the Illinois village community, Father, that you got to lift up the name of Jesus in your house. You got to pray. You got to enter the prayer with the powerful name of Jesus. Father, we need your help this morning for our family. And then during word commentary, it said, the greatness of God love stirs praise. Somebody need to receive that into their heart all over the world. The greatness of God love stirs praise. Thank you for the blessing of your word this morning. I will lift up my hands in your name. Somebody need to be started calling on the name of Jesus. Father, it breaks things. It breaks chains. Father, somebody need to start calling on the name of Jesus. Father, so that we can enter into prayer and our prayer be heard. Father, somebody need to start calling on the name of Jesus because the power is in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over this community. I plead the blood of Jesus over my church family. The devil's coming against the church, but I know upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. I shall not die, but live and declare the words of the Lord. And so the lifting up of hands was not only the common posture of prayer among the ancient Hebrews, it is especially appropriate for praying. So you got to surrender your will. Father, have your way this morning, Father. We need the community to hear that we're lifting up the name Jesus. Father, that's how I got saved, calling on the name Jesus. Father, but I had to repent. That's asking for forgiveness of your sins and turning to him with your whole heart. I'm silent the trumpet. The kingdom of God is at hand, and you have to repent. That's my encouragement is that you get to a godly church and you repent of your sin, a sincere repentance. Father, thank you for the blessing of your word. Thank you for the instruction in your word. It said, it displayed the anticipation of greatly receiving from God. See, you got to anticipate. Jeremiah 20 letter said, I know the thought that you think toward me, said the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give me the expected end. Somebody needs to know that God's expected end for to you is good. Thank you for the goodness of the Lord this morning. I can walk in his favor and his blessing, but I can help somebody talk about Jesus, how he changed my life, how he does a merciful God to me, Father, how he dealt with me and my problems and my trouble, how he fixed my marriage. Father, I had to communicate. Father, help me with my conversations I get it right so my marriage can get better. Father, help me with my conversations I get it right so my brother and my sister relationship can get better. Father, I need your help this morning. I could be doing like the scripture says, praying, praying the word, studying the word. That's where I'm going to get my help. The greatness of God loves there is praise. Somebody need to get that into their heart. That's what I bless thee while I live. How are you going to bless them while you live? You're going to study the word. You're going to pray the word. Father, we need your help this morning with your word, a better understanding of your word. Father, this morning in this community, go to Psalm 104 and verse 33. Let's continue to walk through the word. Listen to what the word of God says in 33 to 35. It said, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. See, you got to have your God. My God is the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, that's the one I received into my heart. That's the one that died for me. He didn't come into the world to condemn me. He came to me, but we might be saved through him. Somebody got to want to be calling on the name Jesus because you want to be delivered and set free from your problem. Father, thank you this morning. Somebody needs to be set free. It said, my meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord when you think about him. Father, when you partner on him, you got to know that he's the sweetest God you know. I will be glad in the Lord. See, you got to be gracious. You got to be glad. You got to be thankful for what the Lord have done for you. Listen to what it said. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth and let the wicked be no more. Blessed thou the Lord, O oh my soul, praise ye the Lord. See, we got to praise him. 
We got to praise him this morning. We got to praise him when we're in trouble. Father, we got to praise him, God, for our houses. Sikatabala. Ekotoba Sikatabala. He gave your own heavenly language. Praise him and a continued praise. So come out of your mouth, 1 Corinthians 14 and 2 say, He that speak of in an unknown tongue speak of not unto man, but unto God, how be it in the spirit, he speak of mystery. Father, continue to give us revelation, a determination to praise God in song and in meditation. You got to meditate on it. Let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be acceptable. You got to study the word of God. You got to pray the word of God. Somebody go with me to Psalm 145. Focus verse to the second verse. And I pray that you receive the instruction in this word. And it makes your house better. Listen to one through three. David's psalm of praise. It says, I will extol thee, my God, O King. I will bless thy name forever and ever. Somebody need to receive it into the heart. The name that you got to bless is the Lord Jesus Christ. Every day will I bless thee. He's giving us the instruction. And I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. You need to know that. You need to be able to tell somebody what does say of the Lord and what the Lord have done for you. How far he brought you from. I could talk about me how far he brought me from. I could talk about how he fixed my family. I could talk about how he chose me. Father, I thank you, Father. I give you the glory this morning for what you have done in my life. Go with me to Psalm 146. Psalm 146. Father, we got to continue to encourage each other in the word. Listen to what it says, starting with the... The second verse of the focus, verse 1 and 2. Praise you the Lord, praise the Lord, O oh my soul. While I live, will I praise thee, Lord. I will sing presence to my God while I have any being. See, you got to continue to praise the Lord. Don't you let that devil come and take a root of bitterness springing up in you because you got to stand on the word of God. You got to praise him. You got to pray. You got to study the word. Don't let nothing hinder you. Don't be a stumbling block to nobody. Father, you got to love your neighbors as you love yourself. Love the Lord thy God with your mind, your body, your soul, all your mind. And heal Israel, the Lord our God, he is one. You got to stay in the word of God. You got to receive the instruction in the word of God so that you'll be able to help your family. Father, we need resources. Father, we got to focus on the word. The scripture says, seek ye the kingdom first and all his righteousness and everything will be added into you. Don't you believe the word of God? Don't you believe what it says? Seek ye the kingdom first and all his righteousness and everything will be added into you. The happiness of trusting in the Lord. Somebody never see it in the heart. The happiness of trusting in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not into the honor and stand in all the ways. Acknowledge him, and he'll direct your path. I will lift up my hands in thy name. See, that's why I'm out here this morning. I'm surrendering my will. Father, I'm lifting my hands to your name. I'm not doing it for a show. I'm lifting my hand to your name, Father, because you changed me. You transformed me. Father, cast down imagination every high thing that is all itself against the knowledge of God. Put my earth thought in the beats of Christ so I can study your word better. Father, so I can pray your word better. Father, love you for your word this morning. In Psalm 134, verse 2, listen to what the word of God said. It said, lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. See, we enter into this gate with thanksgiving and with praise. Father, I love you this morning. I'm praising you in this community. I praise you in my house, Father. Now, the children can see me praising you, Father, because it's worthy, you're worthy to be praised, and they have to know it, Father. We wanted to pass on to the... Next generation, they train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he won't depart from it. That's praising the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessing God with uplifted hands. Somebody to receive that in the heart. Blessing God with uplifted hands. The greatness of God's love stirs praise. Go me to Habakkuk. Habakkuk the prophet. And I thank him for his word today. The third chapter. Focus verse of the 10th verse, verses 13 through 15. That I'm reading it to you here. 10 through 15. Listen to what it says. And I pray that we receive it. The power of God. It said the mountains saw thee. And they trembled the overflowing of the water passed by. The deep out of his voice and lifted up his hands on high. Father we hear your word. The sun and moon stood still in their habitation. At the light of thine arrows they went. And at the shining of the glittering spirit. Listen to what it said. Thou didst march through the land in indignation. Thou didst stress the heathen in anger. 
See, see, he don't, he ain't worried about the wicked. The wicked gonna have that day. He said, thou went us forth for the salvation of thy people. See, it's for by your soul to be saved. We focus on salvation. Work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. It said, even for salvation without anointing, thou would the head of out of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation of the neck. Listen to what it said. Thou did a strike too with his staves. The head of this village that came out as a whirlwind to scatter me, their rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. They make secret places trying to devour you. But I'm speaking here to the certain no weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. And any time that rise up against me in judgment shall be condemned. The power of God on behalf of his people. The last portion of scripture I'm going to leave you with is Hebrew 12. And I thank him for the blessing of his word. Thank him for the blessing of his word. I pray that somebody receive this word. And I pray that people continue to be blessed off of this ministry. Father, we need the resources for this ministry. Father, so we can be a help to this community. Starting with the 15th verse. Listen what it says, 14 through 17. I pray that we receive this into our heart in this community. It said, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. See, we got to follow the instruction in the world. Looking diligent, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness spring it up, trouble you. See, it got to be bothering you. Father, but build up a wall of defense over my mind and my heart. Father, so that I don't be distracted. Father, I need your help this morning. Father, this thing's troubling me, but I know that you can bring me peace. The peace that pass of all understanding love has the multitude of sins and perfect love cast out fear. Fear has to leave in Jesus' mighty name. And thereby many be defiled. The word is true, lest there be any fornicator or profane person Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. I'm not selling my birthright. I'm standing on the word. He chose me. Father, I need your help. I shall not die but live and declare the words of the Lord. It's for ye know how that afterward when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected for he found no place of repentance though he sought it carefully with tears. You find no place of repentance. We don't want to be. Now, Psalm 66, 18 say, if you hold iniquity in your heart, God won't hear you. Father, we need help. We need help this morning. That's why we're here. Father, we're studying your word and praying your word. Father, we need your help. The men of God. Father, it's hearing this instruction, Father, we got to stand on your word. We got to be prayers of your word. Father, we got to praise you. Continue praying. Got to come out of our daily. Father, order your word, Father, so that we can get the help that I need so we can stand. 2 Timothy 2.15 says, Study to show thy self approval workman. Need not be ashamed, rightly divided with the truth. Father, that we, oh, Father, we receive us a salvation. Father, that our soul be saved. And we know that the perfect gifts come from above. Father, we're lifting up holy hands this morning, Father, because we need your help. Father, we know that our prayers is being answered. We expect, expect in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace. And not of evil to give me expected the end. My, your expected end for me is good. Father, let good spread through this day. Let good spread through our minds. Let good spread through the mist of this, oh God, this world, Father, because we need your help. And Father, we know that you're full of love. Father, compassion, putting the suffering of before yourself. Father, help us not to just think about ourselves. Help us not to lift up ourselves, Father. We want to stay humble and in a humble place. Father, so we can be humble, willing workers in the army of the Lord. Father, help us with the Lions Cross Apostolic Church ministry. Pastor High Call, Brother Stern, First Lady, Kim and Brooks, that we grow in your will and your way. One accord, believing the same on the foundation in the name of Jesus, and it has all power. Powered by the Holy Ghost. Acts 1 and 8 says, after you receive the Holy Ghost, the power will come not before. After you receive the Holy Ghost, the power will come. We thank you for the blessing of your word. And Father, I pray that the word in, in penetrate hearts this morning. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. And amen, Jesus.